Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the SPRI adjustable 20 pound weight vest. We've been talking about adjustable weight vests so that people can get more out of body weight programs. The goal of body weight programs should be to develop skill. You start by doing body weight only training and over time you add weight to the system. The easiest way to do it is with a weight vest. In a previous video, we had talked about this vest, the CAP 20 pound adjustable weight vest. It seems pretty good as long as you're not rolling around in the dirt. If you use it twice a week, you'll probably get a couple years out of it. This weight vest was $50. Some viewers commented that they couldn't find this weight vest at the local Wally World but they could find this SPRI weight vest. They wanna know if this one also is approved. We're gonna open it up and find out. We drove to a couple Wally Worlds to find this one, and let's open it up. Today we are gonna to use our Black Scout Survival folding knife to open the box, split our tape on either side, inside. Oh, it's already packed up too, good. We have a weight vest. Inside the box we have a little thing of generally useless body weight exercises that are not complex. Uh, box jump, dip, push up, walking lunge, front plank, side plank. Great work, SPRI. Way to provide useful instruction. So the vest comes directly out of the box, fully assembled. I didn't think this looked good at the beginning and I'm skeptical, but we'll find out. So inside here are these side folding pockets with sandbags in them. So we have one, two, three, four, five on the front, and one, two, three, four, five on the back. That makes a total of 10. At 20 pounds, we assume that each one of these weights is a two pound weight. They don't look like they're gonna burst, but they only have one stitch line across the top here. So that's, that makes me question it. I don't see a double reinforced stitch, which would take literally two seconds when you were making it at the factory to do it the proper way. The vest itself is a little bit weird in design. I don't know what these buckles are for. Let's just put it on and try it out. The cummerbund goes behind you when you put a vest on. Over the head, mic out of the way. Ugh, already does not feel great. This side over first. My right hand side over first, left hand side over second, and it's trying to trap those weights in there. I mean, you could use it, I just don't know how long it would last. The $5 difference between these two things seems, you know, like you should just spend the other $5. So this is apparently up here to try to support the Velcro on the shoulders. So it's like reinforcement for the adjustability at the top. I'm a big guy and this thing is already closed up pretty, pretty tight. So I think that this head hole should be way smaller for your average person because the weights in the back feel like they're hanging down super low in the back. With a weight vest, we want the weight up high, closer to our sternal notch. We want the weight to rest on our rib cage. This is already starting to rest more on my abdomen. <sighs> Feels like you could breathe in it. Let's grab a mat and do some basic movements to see if it stays in place. Let's start with some basic things, step back lunges, step back lunge. It moves around a little bit, but it doesn't shake too much. Step back lunge. Let's do a static lunge, the actual harder version of a lunge, all the way down, all the way up. Any weight vest should work for these movements just fine because your spine's not moving around. Let's get down to the ground all the way down. The exercise that I am most interested in is the hip drop family of movements because it's the one that's in all types of get-ups. Turkish get-ups, Krav get-ups, Judo get-ups. Think of it as a Russian twist. Two hands flat on the ground, knees close to hands, pivot, set one hip all the way down. Straight leg version. Eh, not too bad. It seems to stay in place. It doesn't feel super comfortable, but it would absolutely work if you had to have it that way. Let's get down into our down dog base position because a lot of movements can come from that. 
Starting in our child's pose, that sets the distance for our hands and our feet. Roll our toes underneath. Ooh, instantly don't like it. It's sliding towards my ears. Uh, the bear squat, touch the knees, straighten the legs, touch the knees, straighten the legs. Every time it's shifting a little bit, which is doable, but generally annoying. Diving dolphin, touch, drive, touch, drive, touch, drive. Let's get all the way through. Dive all the way through, press up, get back. You could wear it. I mean, it would work for a little while. If you needed something that only gonna last maybe a month or two and you couldn't get anything else, then this could be something that you could use. It is not comfortable. It shifts around. It presses on your abs every time you move through a movement. So it's kind of pushing on you like this. It's just weird. It's just not well designed. It's loose, all these loose edges as you do complex movement will eventually rub on you. It's tight up here on the neck. You would definitely want to wear some type of collared shirt to keep it from cutting right here. I think if you did a full 30 minute body weight program, you would end up with big red lines right here. So let's take this thing off. Cumberbund off, that Velcro is not great. Definitely do not get it dirty. Up over the head. And then whenever you put a weight vest down, you usually leave it inside up so that they dry. Not a fan of this. Bad stitching, weird fabric, unnecessary points of adjustment. Weights don't sit in a good spot. I would not recommend this one for body weight training. If you absolutely had to have a body weight vest and you didn't mind using it and throwing it away, then maybe. But I don't recommend people do that. I much more recommend people buy quality equipment or at least something that will last for several years and that is more adjustable. The CAP vest had one pound adjustments, so it has more versatility for almost the exact same money. It is $5 difference in cost, which is really what? A 10% difference off the total price, $50, $45. Not recommended. Not good for my program or really anybody else's program.